Why, hello there. My chair is squeaky. I need to get a new one. What is happening, Libby? It's been a while, but I have something really interesting to show you, and you're going to love it, so check it out. Okay, so that wasn't really what I did with those song ideas that you gave me. That was what I did when I threw them all together and was like, let's see how this sounds. That's what came out. So I worked on it and I messed with it a lot and it's still not like perfect and I, I'm fairly happy with it. If I had more time or inspiration, I'd do a little better of a job, but this is what I ended up coming up with. So. Enjoy. So I hope you like that, and if you don't, then too bad. So that's how that's going to go. <laughs> um, so as you well know, your waffle song has been stuck in my head for nigh upon a very long time now, and you both made me love and abhor the music world um, by introducing me to Jack's Mannequin, which is an extremely awesome band, and I really love their stuff. And I will bring you his CD because I bought it. Um, but at the same time, you showed me that Narwhal song, and part of me died inside. So thanks for that. That's really awesome. Um, but other than that, <laughs> I really liked all the songs you picked. I just couldn't fit them all in. It sort of worked, but it sounded really, really funky and dysfunctional. And those two were the ones that went together the best. And I threw in the Narwhals at the end because I like to torture myself. But what I really wanted to say about all of the music that you mentioned in your video, since you seem to mention a lot, was that my favorite was your waffle song, and it definitely has made my day several times in the past month. And it's just about as epic as taping yarn to your face like some people. And I have one more thing to say about your video before I move on to actually doing mine. Your captions are hilarious. I spent about two minutes just laughing my butt off at your 40 second saga of you searching for the correct box of text and it was very you. It was funny and I enjoyed it a lot. So <laughs> good job. Blah. I was making faces at myself in the camera. So um, for my challenge or your challenge for you challenging moving right along you asked me what I'd spend with $75,000 worth of waffle money. So this is my list and this is what I would buy because it's how I roll. That's funny. Okay, so a lot of the things I'd buy with my waffle money would take up pretty much all of it because um, they're bigger or more expensive things. Um, so any and or all of the above, possibly a combination of the following is what I would purchase with my waffle money. One, I would pay off all my school loans and debts because they're really angry at me right now. Two, I would build my nomen tree restaurant slash cafe uh, with Tisha and Heather because it's gonna be awesome when we finally get it made. So that's what I'd also buy. Three, I would also buy PHS some brand new sexy damn band uniforms because those ones are sad. Really, really sad. Four, I'd build myself a super awesome house with turrets and also a spiral staircase because they're awesome. Only mine would go somewhere because... I'm not, I, I don't see the point of going up to a ceiling. I'm sorry, I just, 
doesn't make any sense to me. If I really want to go on the ceiling, I can just invert my gravity booster. Five, I would probably just retire early and concentrate solely on being artistic and extremely eccentric like most old people. My phone's buzzing. Who could it be? Mom, right now, I'm on my way. Sort of. Not really. I'll be there soon. Six, I would buy a whole truck full of waffles so that you and I could share them because waffles are very good. Seven, I would buy myself dance lessons because I can't dance. Eight, I may or may not hire someone to kidnap one or all of the following people. Ian McKellen, Darren Chris, Bryce Dallas Howard, and Hayao Miyazaki because I think they'd all be really interesting people to meet and would have some really funny stories and I could probably get along with any and or all of them and it would just be a party! It would be awesome! Okay, so apparently mom's really hungry and I'm supposed to be going over to your house right now so I'm gonna make this quick. Um, not much is going on with me. I got a car, you've seen it, it's awesome. In my next video I'll probably do something with it. Maybe I'll do my video in the car. Mm, that could work, sort of. My neighbors will walk by and be like, the hell? I digress. So I haven't quite thought of a challenge for you, so I'm just gonna make one up on the spot. Um, um, uh, okay, so this on the spot thing isn't working out. So let's ask Google. Google will have all of the answers, just you watch. Let's let's watch it together. Let's find something nice. Oh look, it's you. Let's see. YouTube challenges. Let's see. Oh, this looks authentic. Coed magazine. I like it. Oh cinnamon. No, that doesn't sound like fun. I've seen that before. I hate Wendy's. You have to eat an onion. Oh, oh, that's nasty. Ew. Coconut. We don't have coconuts either. Saltine crackers. That could work. Hot wings. Donut. Why is this all related to food? Okay, well, that's stupid. Never mind. Nope. Bam. This might work. Let's see here. Reuse your coffee grounds. Stretch together. Fine. What? Install. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to challenge you, Libby. You must install a nightlight into your bedroom. Duh. Okay. I give up. <sighs> okay. Apparently, Google doesn't have all the answers because. I only looked at a couple web pages, but they didn't look very, they were, it just didn't work. So, what I want you to do instead is to write me a short story. Bam. Original. Uh, let's see, what should it be about? You should write me a short story about, no, not a short story, a myth. You should write me a myth about... A world of your own invention, like a creation myth, like how the world came to be, or why they rubber bred there. I don't know, but do something fun like that, like make it all mythy. That's your challenge. And since mom's wanting me to go, I should get out of here. I'm trying to think of anything else that you should know. Um, I have stars on my ceiling. That's really important. But you already knew that, so I honestly have nothing new to tell you. You know it all, because you're also like Google. So, until next time, me, may may. yeah, I did just butcher two languages at once. Bam. One more thing before I go. Did you intend to put in that innuendo in the second verse of your song? Because there's one in there. Just, just thought I'd mention it. And in case you were wondering, I edited those pictures of those cute little fluffy things to 
be a placeholder because I didn't put together any video mashup thing yet. So, that's why. There's a weird hair thingy right there. I see it. Whatever. <laughs>